Friday and Saturday, April 7th and 8th, here's the deal. The sun is in Aries, the moon is in Virgo, Pluto is in Capricorn, and we have Mars in Taurus. We've got a grand trine in Earth with the sun in Aries. Let's first talk about Betty Ford's birthday. Aries energy, very assertive, very stand up, stand out. They don't have an off button. You know the life lesson of an Aries? To know when to stop. Betty Ford made it acceptable to admit, I need recovery. There's nothing more humble than being able to say, I need help, and going to the 12-step program. And boy, can Aries get carried away. The grand trine in Earth we talked about, the Capricorn, the Taurus, and the Virgo, the energy right now, it's such a wonderful weekend, is grounded energy. The grand trine, we talked about this before, three planets, all 120 degrees apart. So literally, it's a triangle, and it describes practicality. And what is recovery but giving you a 12-step program to be humbled and follow the steps and keep yourself on the ground level where you ask for help? Sometimes I wish that I was alcoholic because that program is so magic. It's the quickest way to get yourself into a spiritual practice. And this grand trine on earth is asking you, Aries, all you feisty people who indulge like crazy, who get all carried away with impulse, to caution yourself with Moon and Virgo and say, is there any honesty that I could tell myself where I need to ask for help? So important to know how to ask for help. So important to get on your knees and say, please help me. So while the moon's in Virgo and the sun's in Aries, we've got this beautiful grand trine in Earth, and it's a weekend, I'm going to suggest to be honest enough with yourself. If nothing else, look around your house and see what you can clean. Because when there's a grand trine in Earth, it's the best time to do your garage. Astrology Answers told me to tell you this weekend, it's such a perfect grounded opportunity to slow it down, get practical, get honest, and see what you can change up a little bit.